Hey folks, John Bernakovich here with All Points Design. That's allpointsdesign.ca. And we're taking a look at the Oregon State University Permaculture Design Report template. Today we're going to take a look at how to edit a assignment title page. So in front of us we've got an assignment title page, the first assignment title page, which is the personal survey. And changing this image is one of the first things we can do. So we've got a few options of changing this. We can either click on it and delete it by clicking the delete button. I'm just going to command Z to bring that back. We could replace image, upload from computer. So I've got an image that uh, I just grabbed. And it's in my downloads, what's the name of it here? 2020 1040. So 2020 1040, there it is. So I can open that up and it'll actively replace it. And that's probably the easiest way to replace images, just by clicking replace. Now I've already replaced this, so I'm gonna remove the yellow text. And I'm gonna throw my name up here, Javin K. Bernakovich. And the bottom boxes here are a little dark, so I might actually change both of these to white. And I just did something there where I clicked on one box, I held down the shift key and clicked the next one, which meant that they're both now selected. So now I can go up to my text color, click on the white circle, which is hard to see, but it's in the top right hand corner. And if you just go slow, you'll get a little highlight box around them. And then all of a sudden that pops out and I like how that looks. So I might do that with this. I might turn this white as well. And that looks pretty good if I throw it over there. And then this is okay. Um, I could try it out and see, you know, if I click on all of this and turn all of this white, what that would look like. But this is another good example of, of things to know. You can draw a, a, a square and anything that intersects that square, be it text box or image or anything otherwise, will all be highlighted. Now, if I hold down the shift key and then click on the thing I don't want, which is this um, background image, it'll unselect and it'll just leave me with what I want, which means then I can go to this color and I can look at that and see if that looks good or kind of play with a gray. I ended up changing the background. Um, try gray, that doesn't look good. That looks okay, actually, I don't mind that. Uh, I might just kind of move these things around. And yeah, I might move this down so it's behind the color of, and this is the view I see every day. Uh, I'm pretty lucky. Uh, this is my own personal slice of heaven. And so I might just throw down uh, assignment one a little bit more. And there's a random text box up there, so I'm gonna delete that. So I don't know what that's from, but you may find that every once in a while on the slides. It's something that's left over from one of the collaborators. So I just click on that and click delete. Ooh, but it does take out my, this, that's interesting. So this is actually this. So what I'm gonna do is grab that transform icon on the side. I'm just gonna make this a bit smaller so it's just around the number itself. So that way I'm not uh, selecting it otherwise. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. 